Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. A brand new update 3.0.1 has been released for Scarlet and Violet. We're going to take a look at all of the details as well as the patch notes in today's video. So shortly after the release of the Indigo Disc DLC, we got news that a new patch update would be on the way to Scarlet and Violet. It was due to drop in the middle of January, but it is the start of February as of recording this video, and it has just dropped today. The brand new 3.0.1 patch is to resolve a bunch of issues that have been occurring in the game since the latest update 3.0.0. And you can take a look at all of the patch notes that we have available to this particular update. So the bug fixes, if the player used items to level up an ink here to level 29 or lower, the game would stop responding to button inputs. Now this has been resolved, so you're going to have no problem leveling up your ink here. Some materials needed to craft TM 223, which is metal sound, were previously dropped by a Pokemon that appears only in one version of the game. So that was Sheldon, which only appears in Pokemon Scarlet. You needed that to make metal sound going forward in Scarlet and Violet. That's now been resolved and the Sheldon material that was required for that is no longer needed. So if you've got Pokemon Scarlet, you're going to be able to make this TM going forward in your games. After players installed the item printer in the League Club room, under certain circumstances, players would get stuck between the item printer and the wall. This bug has been fixed. Affected players can now get unstuck by speaking to the character next to the item printer and selecting I want to print something. So... That is a super strange one, but if you got stuck there, you're not going to have that problem anymore. Never experienced that myself. A big one for the competitive community, which is Dragon Cheer, which is a brand new attack available in the DLCs. When Pokemon under the effect of Dragon Cheer was switched out to battle and then re-entered that battle, its attacks would still have heightened chance of landing critical hits. This bug has now been fixed, so I believe that this move is now eligible in competitive play, so you'll be able to use dragon cheer going forward if you are playing in any of the vg scene this season and then certain moves that calyrex could learn via tm only while united with glastria or spectria would remain in calyrex's move set even after calyrex separated from glastria or spectria furthermore even if those moves were forgotten calyrex could then remember those moves without being united with glastria or spectria now this bug has been fixed so whatever was happening there that has been resolved and then they end up with other selected bug fixes have been implemented. And we'll get straight to it because I think the thing that's on everyone's mind with this latest update is has the duplication glitch been patched? And sadly to say it has been patched. But the way they went about fixing this duplication glitch is not really resolving the issue altogether. How they've went about it is a very quick fix and they've pretty much made Smeagol unable to use the move transform in game so you can go up against the Smeagol in game you can still use the method of transforming into it it will sketch the transform so it can still sketch transform but when the Smeagol comes to use the move transform it will fail in battle now I don't know if this is something that will fail in competitive battles or if it's just in the field of play in Paldea Kitakomi and than the terrarium but it does leave a big question above your head about why they've done this because this can affect potentially strategies in competitive play now Smeagol with transform not the most popular of pokemon in competitive play but it does leave the question to say is this going to be fixed further down the line and Smeagol is going to be able to use transform this fix definitely just screams about they didn't have time to do it they've just stuck a band-aid over it and leaving it like that for now so for going forward if you have been using the duplication glitch that has been available in the latest 3.0.0 update then it might not be worth updating your game until you've kind of had your fill with duplicating the items that you require in those games otherwise if you do update your game you're not going to be able to use that anymore and be aware there is a terror raid event starting tonight for empoleon if you are wanting to take part in that you're going to need to have done the update before actually being able to get into the raid there may even be a mystery gift that drops as well in the next couple of days to kind of push players into doing the update so they can obtain that of course we've got the global challenge as well starting at midnight tonight utc which will mean you're going to have to go online and an update will be required for you to go into that as well so that's something just to keep in mind 
if you are wanting to stay on the 3.0.0 version of the game until you need to update to the latest one 3.0.1 so there's some good fixes in there but there's some also weird fixes as well which don't really get to the root problem of things that are happening in the game but this is all the information that we've got for today these are the update patch notes that we've got anything else that comes out of course we'll be covering it here on the channel if you found today's video useful do drop a like on the video it does really help and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our latest pokemon scarlet and violet content thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye